Uh, welcome to the Infrared Control Workshop uh, at uh, NURPS 2018. Um, so um, I'm happy to see a lot of you here this uh, early hour of the morning. Um, so to warm up, let's, uh, let's uh, have a, a quick uh, um, you know, discussion of, of what, uh, what this title even means. Um, so we sort of, in a sense, pose this as a question uh, to, to you, to the community. What, what does this mean to you? Uh, we, we know uh, inference, we know control. There's two communities, uh, very, very uh, rich communities. Uh, dealing with these two questions, uh, we kind of wanted to bring them together. We, we think there's a lot to be discussed together. A lot of you already have been discussing this. Uh, and so, so we sort of pose this question of what does it mean to you to interact between inference and control? Uh, we had some answers in mind, and uh, you had more answers in mind, and and uh, and this gets the discussion going. So so that's good. Um, one of the places we're coming from um, asking this question is this concept of control as inference, which goes back to uh, um, classic classic optimal control, um, linear quadratic uh, regulators. Uh, you know, the Riccati equations that, that optimize them are sort of equivalent to the Kalman filter. So control uh, going, in a sense, backward in time is equivalent to uh, uh, inference going forward in time. Um, and then there's a line of works uh, by, uh, by um, Mark Tissot, Bert Kaplan, uh, Imo Todorov, and others um, on, on what's come to be called KL control, so KL regularization of control, which sort of uh, gives the control problem a flavor <coughs> of, of an inference problem. Um, and more explicitly, uh, we have max entropy um, methods in control in inverse reinforcement learning and in re reinforcement learning. So there's a long, a long line of work that views control as inference and, and uses uh, methods that could be called inference to solve control. Um, equally, there's um, another approach, which is to consider latent structures in control. So if uh, not everything we need to know about the control problem is visible in our data, uh, it's latent. We need to infer it. We may need to infer con uh, structures um, Maybe, maybe the most popular structure is hierarchical structure. Um, this is just a short list of, of works uh, that introduced hierarchical frameworks for, for control, for reinforcement learning, uh, for the discovery of structure. Really, um, any slide is too short to uh, contain all the works uh, there. And recently, deep hierarchical reinforcement learning. And so, um, if we uh, if we imagine there's maybe maybe two pillars to infer to control may maybe more uh, control is inference and structured control um, we were delighted to see that a lot of the submissions we got actually went along uh, m uh, these two lines there was some uh, freshly uh, um, different uh, submissions um, and um, we're happy to see uh, uh, all of them. All of them. Um, so let me thank all the organizers uh, that helped make this uh, workshop. Um, Leslie Kelbling, Martin Reedmiller, Mark Dussault, Igor Mordach, myself, and, and Thomas Hornoya, and our advisors as well. Um, I want to thank our sponsors, uh, Intel AI, uh, Google uh, Brain, and uh, DeepMind. Uh, for making uh, uh, some of uh, what we'll have here possible. Uh, if you're a student author, uh, please anticipate uh, a form where you can get uh, some financial support. Um, we have a very exciting lineup of speakers today, um, which uh, we'll introduce in turn. And finally, uh, we got a lot of contributed papers. Uh, we had 36 submissions this year. Uh, which is very exciting. We accepted 75% uh, of them. 
uh, six of which we're going to hear as, as contributed talks today, uh, and, and the rest as posters. So if you have a poster, um, take an opportunity to hang it on, on the walls, and uh, we'll have um, two poster sessions. But I'm sure during the breaks, uh, it's a good time to see posters as well. Okay. All right, let's see our first speaker is here. <coughs> 